So somebody sent this to me and asked me to take a look at this. They wanted me to watch it. Uh, it looks interesting. It's called Milf Manor is Truly Insane. I don't know what it's about, but it's it sounds like it sounds pretty good. It's by uh, Cody Co. Okay, I think I've heard his name before. Very rare. I usually don't know anybody. Let's watch it. Welcome back to Love Island or Love is Blind. No, Temptation. Uh, F Boy Island. No. Too high. My favorite one is Love on the Spectrum. It's a fun show. It's very interesting. Not to handle. No, no, no. Milf Manor. Welcome back to Milf Manor. If you've ever watched a dating show and thought it's good, I like the characters, but they, I wish they had more kids. What? Then this show's for you. Milf Manor just premiered oh. last night on TLC. TLC, you know, the channel that's known for, you know, more grounded yeah. intellectual stuff like Dr. Pimple Popper or Dr. Pimple Popper before the pop or Dr. Pimple Popper. This is it. Or Wow, there's a lot of these. Uh, Papa guy, I disagree with your take on Andrew Tate. He does provide tips on how to elf impiv. I doubt he is six traffic, and I think you're just being bad faith. Oh, okay. So you're pretending to be stupid as fuck. Or gotcha. Dr. Pimple Popper with every systemous card I write. Stuff like that. They're no strangers to dating shows either. 90 Day Fiance, you've probably heard of that. Well, have you heard yeah. of the 19 other 90 Day Fiance shows? That's right. There's 19 spinoffs. Of hey, I mean, with that Mr. Beast effect, you know, gotta make some content somewhere, you know? I guess, I don't know. Wait, I can't go hyper on this? That show, I count it. And this is their newest show, Milf Manor. And I just watched the first episode and I'm gonna guide you through it. The show takes place in Mexico and the synopsis is hot single moms search for love, but a shocking twist changes everything. Oh, what's the twist? They can't have more kids? I don't understand. I live in Studio City, California, and I have three amazing boys. I don't think any of my sons realize that I have an extremely high libido. I hope they don't. Oh my. God. <laughs> wow. I don't know why that really got me. It would be really bad if they knew that you had a high libido. So is that too much saying I have an extremely high libido? Should I just have said high libido? That's right, kids. Yeah. Mommy likes to fuck. <laughs> Woo! You guys changed your diapers, cleaned up after you, made you lunch every day, taught you how to drive, and now it's time for mommy to get her nut. Again, and for you to find out that I love Jesus to do Christ. it all the time. Also, by the way, one of the things nice. about the show is that the, the guys are all younger. So it's MILF stating younger guys, you know. Oh, okay. It's a little weird, but you know what? If uh, if we got a bunch of people normalizing, uh, you know, guys fucking around with like 19-year-old girls, why not the reverse, you know? All around the same age as all these women's sons would yeah, be. But that probably weird. has nothing to do with the shocking twist, right? No. No. <laughs> I'm actually your son, mom. Oh no! Imagine though, Jesus. But that would be that would be weird. <laughs> My name is So Young. I am. She doesn't look that young. <laughs> that was the dumbest fucking dad joke I've ever made in my life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fifty years old. When wow, I met you, looking younger, my but... type of man, I introduced myself. Say, hey, I'm So Young, and I'm so. Did she say she's horny? Shit. I watched that like 10 times to, to figure out what she said in the censored part. Like I just lip reading. I think she says, hi, I'm so young and I'm so wet. Ooh, I, I says, like that. Which is, which is fucking intense. That's a little bit aggressive for an opening line. Is it not? Hey, listen, I like, I like an assertive woman. That's all I'm saying. Like a dude opening with, what's up? What's up? Yeah, my name's so Chad and I'm so hard right now. <laughs> hey, that sounded just like Clay. You remember, you guys remember not Clay from TikTok? Yeah, he unfollowed me. I really don't know why. Kind of shitty, but what are you going to do, brother? What can I get you? I'm Kelly. I'm 50 years old, and my alter ego is Disco Mommy. Hey, girl! Disco hey, Mommy! Hey, girl. How are you hot ladies doing? So far, I like So Young the most, because she's wet, or some, or yeah, something. I don't even know. She's censored. Just like just like their pubes in the, in, the, in the adult content for some reason. I don't understand it. Disco Mommy loves house music. In Disco Mommy, she's really spontaneous. She's just fun. I don't hey, like Disco I mean, Mommy. Listen, she's trying too hard. As a DJ, I get it, all right? House music is a lifestyle, and that never True. goes away. So True. respect to you, Disco Mommy. <laughs> I have six amazing kids, three girls and three boys. That's wow. the number one question people ask me. Like, like it's from the same guy. How many dads? Yep. <laughs> I was just about to ask I'm like, no. Why would I have six kids from the same guy? Hello? No, what kind of world would we live in where people were faithful? It's weird, you know. <laughs> I mean, ironic coming from a guy who's been like a poly relationship or open relationship for the past ten years. But hey, I'm now a brother of Christ. I am now of I am now a brother of Jesus Christ Almighty. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. 
peace be with you also with you all right guys here's what we're gonna do on easter we're all gonna walk around with very thin rice paper and we're gonna we're gonna take it off we're gonna hand it to the other person they're gonna bite it eat it you're gonna eat theirs and you're gonna say peace be with you also with you by the end you're gonna have to eat somebody's sweaty finger rice cracker the body of christ is sweaty because he's been to the gym that's what's happening well <coughs> right yeah yeah no dumb question sorry sorry i don't know why i said that sorry like hello <laughs> sorry my bad I Disco mommy, I apologize. Just go faster. Of course I'm not from Shingai. So stupid. Hello? Hello? What do I have to offer? You know, we're getting older, ladies. We're not getting younger, even though we can think that we can do things to make ourselves look younger. We're really not. <laughs> My read on Charlene is she probably was very hot when she was younger. Um, more in shape. Damn, this show is already so uncomfortable. Like there's so yeah. much tension around the bar right now already. Like all other dating shows are twenty two year olds that are that don't have any real thoughts, you know? The only thing they're thinking is like, meh. Yeah, because they are real thoughts. <laughs> I'm fucking full dad mode today. Blah, blah, blah. The world's awesome. Fucking everyone is so nice Goblin and hot mode. and bad things don't exist. So like, let's have unprotected sex. But these women have like True. lived life. They know how fucked up everything and everyone is and gets. So immediately like... Probably not. They probably were like attractive women who never worked a day in their life, to be honest with you. There's just but, judgment you know, and just analysis going on and just like, just realistic right off the bat. Like, yeah, she was probably hot in her younger days. She has codependency issues for sure. She went through a bad divorce for sure, I can tell. Uh, she probably cheated on her husband or maybe got cheated on, one of the two. Ooh, and uh, she is definitely fucking her trainer. She's got that going got for him. herself. I have the best trainer in Orange County, so if you guys want to come. <laughs> if you guys want to come, get on that trainer. <laughs> oh, oh, well, there you go. See, told you. Okay, so now the big reveal. Who are all these strapping young lads that all these women will be dating over the coming weeks? Oh, they're going to be each other's kids. Let's find out. I actually think now would be a good time to thank the sponsor of today's video. It's the worst time. It's the worst time, Cody Co. This is the worst time to thank the sponsors because this is the most compelling, interesting part of the video. Of course. Which is Rocket Money, formerly Truebill. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more uh. and spend less. Well, guys, you know, this video for me is brought to you by uh, this thing called Established Titles. Do you Have you ever wanted to pretend that you owned a piece of Scotland or whatever shit country we're talking about? Well, guess what? You can't, but you can pretend for $50, you can get a piece of paper, but you got to print it. So for another $30, we'll send you a plaque in the mail. Guys, Established Titles, uh, go to the link in my bio. Uh, establishedhouse.com slash papagut. Okay. And you'll go go ahead. Get go get your established title. I am not affiliated with them in any capacity. This was a joke. Um, but if I could use that exact plug, then I would be affiliated with them in every video. Okay. Let's say there's some, you know, hot ass MILF you've been eyeing. Maybe you want nice. to take her out on a date. What's you know, maybe she's just fresh off a divorce. Well, you're nice. in a little cash in order to do that. She'll probably pay, but you know, just in case. This personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, build a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. You nice. know, the new year is always a good time to like, you know, reevaluate your finances, make sure you're yeah. taking a, you know, yeah. keeping a close eye yeah. on them. Kelsey and I are getting married soon, you know, and that's quite okay. costly. So, you know, we've been using Rocket Money to help us save more and spend I less. You can set okay. budgets in Rocket Money and with the cool thing is that it'll automatically yeah. notify you when you okay, okay, okay. let's let's try to get through you, this you in your subscription uh, the sh like one more ah! oh what i got the hookup started for free right in 2020 yeah yeah, yeah. rocketmoney.com slash cody co or uh cod yucko one of those two i don't know if he's asian 23 <laughs> that's my mom right there i knew it i knew it they're gonna fuck their own mother Ah! Okay. Whoa, what is that weed? Dios mio, mi vida. Oh my god. I just saw Stray Tupos' eyes and just stay there for a couple of seconds and say, what is this? <laughs> You know, this could be a really strong metaphor for teaching these older women that they have to, they should stop trying to fuck around with other guys and maybe just focus on their kids, okay? Maybe that's the metaphor. Although the kids are older now, so they, whatever. Wait, that's my mom right there? This can't be on. Hey, that's my mom right there, bro. I want to fuck my mother. So this is a really good opportunity for me to have sex with my mom. Holy shit. Sorry. That was the shocking twist. I knew it. Oh, I, I said before that it wasn't going to be, but it turns out it was. <laughs> I'm so young and dumb and hot. I kind of feel like they maybe knew this was going to happen because all of their reactions are like super not genuine. That's my mom right there. He's the most like, yeah. all right, we're, you're on, we're on a single on you. So just, uh, can you do a couple more versions of that, please? <laughs> Holy heck, that's my mom right there. What the heck? What the heck is my mom doing right there? Yo, what is really going on right now? What the heck is truly going on? That's my mom. That's my mom. All I'm saying is that when they said that that's my mom right there, they didn't have the camera on his lower body. And I think that that was intentional because 
penises, okay? Because this guy's gross. Other, like what? What? Why the heck is my flip flipping mom? Mom, what are my you doing here? Mom. The heck? Like, if you genuinely saw your own child standing amongst a among us, among us <laughs> line of dudes that you were planning on, you know, dating, you'd be like, no, what? No, this is weird. No. Except maybe disco mommy. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm thinking first picking the draft. Like I'm looking at everything else before my mom. Thank God for that. Yeah, though. Okay. Like, wow. Norm. Wow. Like, what an expert. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about not fucking my own mother. Wow. The bar is real high for this guy. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> Cause otherwise, That'd this be so would be weird. incest. It's true. Really. Hey, listen. Okay, guys, this is a, this is a very popular saying from a, what I die already. Is it over? Okay. This is a very popular saying um, from a great man who once told me, why go across the street when you can go across the hall? And it's something to think, it's something to keep in mind. Don't keep that in mind. Which I feel like TLC has probably already done, you know? My incest life. Yo, did you check out that new episode of My 900 Pound Incest Life? Older oh, women are very hot, and I know I got the swag, and I got the game for them. <laughs> Sorry. You know what the most, like, the weirdest part about this whole thing is? Is that um, they're a bunch of guys who, well, okay, they're probably not. But, like, for the sake of this video, like... The concept is supposed to be that these are a bunch of guys who are like attracted to older women and have older like MILF moms. And it's like becomes this weird concept of like they fetishize their mothers. And it's very bizarre when you look at it like that. Wow. This is like news to me. <laughs> yes, mom. Yes. Dude, this kid is way too young to be on this show. What? It, come on, DLC. What's going on? Was he like a fucking junior in college? These women are 50 years old. Joey, nice to meet you. Yeah. What's your name? I'm April. April, nice to meet you. I'm the strategy for these women is going to be to fuck the kid that is that the, of the mom that they hate the most. You, how much one about? Great. How about you? Oh, fine. Like whenever I oh, insane, insane eye contact. Holy shit! He just stared her down. Bring a woman home. It's all up to my mom whether I'm dating her or not. Yes. Winning. Winning. Been winning. Been winning. These people are robots. Been chilling. Been chilling. They're robots. They're, so they're an AI programmed by millennial Twitter. Nice. <laughs> yes. Winning. Winning. Been winning. Been winning. When is Poggers going to make it into the mainstream, you know? But then I started Pogger. looking at these women, and I was like, damn, they are kind of beautiful. That's uh, Tommy Lee. I think that's Tommy Lee. <laughs> and then my mom's right there. I was like, <laughs> I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I was having fun before, but this new dynamic just really is a bummer. It's a big bummer. It's so <laughs> uncomfy. And then my mom's right there. I was like, <laughs> how am I supposed to fuck these mills? My mommy's going to get mad. <laughs> True. Like, what the fuck is happening? I am here to find a special connection, and I hope my mom also finds a special connection. Do you think? I'm sure. I'm sure. You just, okay. So, but who knows, right? <laughs> we might find the perfect love in here. Uh -huh, Jimmy, don't know about me. Stop, please. <laughs> I'm floored by how uncomfortable this is. Jimmy, don't know about me. That gives me like, uh, like you don't know what about that. You don't like the Gator vibes from like that fucking movie. Uh, what was it? You know, the bench warmers. No, that's not it. But you know what I'm talking about. You don't play no games. You know? <laughs> it's wild. They fucking nailed the dynamic of like the son, you know, being old enough where he like wants to have his own opinions and shit and like he thinks he's a man. And And the mom oversharing, bro. It's so weird because like um when I when I was like maybe twenty nine thirty, I brought my mother the, I brought my mother I brought my mother to the hospital because she had like an issue. I forget the specifics of what happened, but she had to go to the emergency room. And uh, it was awkward. Like the doctor starts asking her questions and she's asking them like personal questions. Like when's the last time you had sex? And I'm like, I'll leave the room. And I was like, no, don't even worry about it. And she's like, I haven't. She's like, how old are you? And I was like, I'm like 30. And she's like, oh, that's the last, like the doctor asked her when's the last time she had sex. And then she's like, how old are you? And then she laughed. And I'm like, I just didn't want to know that. It makes me uncomfortable. You know, the mom just always uncomfortable. Like, so fucking weird. It's your mother. So bizarre. You know, so these guys are just like stuck in that perpetual like mother loop. It's weird. Dang wild shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? The son's like, you know, my mom is beautiful. She deserves to be loved. <laughs> Welcome, mom. And she's like, yeah. And I'm trying to get fucked, too. And he's True. like, <laughs> yeah, what she said. <laughs> mom, mom, what the fuck? Stop it, mom. You're embarrassing me. Like, her smile during that scene just says it all. We might find the perfect love in here. <laughs> uh -huh, Jimmy, don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I'm shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, so you're gonna be 24 and you're sensitive. No, he's 20. No, I'm gonna be oh, 21. Oh, you're the baby. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be 22, right? I'm gonna be 22. Uh, somebody stop this. <laughs> Whew, he's 20 years old. <laughs> and he's hitting on her. He's throwing that. He's like, oh, you're gonna be 22? <laughs> he's trying to get in on that shit, dude. What the fuck? Gabriel and I are both here because we wanted to take this adventure. Gabriel looks like he needs a fucking haircut, okay? I don't care if I sound like an old dad, okay? I don't care if I sound like his dad. Get a haircut, son. Get a goddamn haircut. It literally fell in our lap from the heavens. And I can't. I, I'm sorry. Just, oh can my you Lord. stop and just let me talk? Can you do it again? Can you not say, why are you saying heavens? Because that's what I'm saying. I, I'm what? my own person. What? But can you stop What's interrupting me? Yeah. So. Dude, what is my man wearing? He's nailing the 2019 e boy aesthetic. And again, Ooh. I love the. Come on. Come on. What are you, why are you saying heavens? There's yeah, I don't understand why he's like so triggered over that. That's such a noble thing to say. But hey, what do the fuck am I, right? What up? Not cool to say heavens. It's not cool. You're gonna make me look stupid. Yeah, well, you're, <laughs> he already looks pretty stupid being on that fucking show. Right, this cool outfit on. You're gonna make me look stupid saying heavens. I come from hells. Okay, so the episode is nice. half over, and I'm so torn. Half of me wants to like use the Men in Black thing and just wipe my memory and just forget that this show exists. Sure. But I can't. I have to keep watching it for you, for you, for the viewer. I must persevere. I have twins. Do you? Three boys. Gabriel's a twin. Oh wow. But they don't look alike. Fraternal. The fraternal. So you brought the ugly. So they're like fake twins, all right? It's not a real twin. Identicals, it's not, fraternal twins don't count. Stop. One, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, did she just call her kid ugly? Nice. <laughs> the, why are they laughing at that? My mom would call me ugly all the time. My whole family used to call me ugly. And then we would call all the other kids ugly too. I and mean, that's just, uh, that's just the perpetual cycle of uh, child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> so they all find out via text, because that's like how these shows work now. They're all, they just get texts throughout the show. Okay. They all find out that they're all staying in the same room as their sons. And there's okay. two rooms with hot tubs in them. And their first challenge is to figure out who gets those rooms. Because you know, if you're if you're sharing a room with your own mother, okay. you definitely want to make sure there's a hot tub in there for sure. So the guys- all Yeah, I don't really like hot tubs, so I wouldn't really All care. stand in a row with their shirts off. Because you're not, if you go in there too long, your, 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 your babies get uh, nuked. You know, you don't want to be in a hot tub for too long as a man, all right? I want you, you. I think they come back, but, but it's like a body temperature thing. So, you know. you, you. Everyone but me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, life lesson. You're ugly, bitch. <laughs> Fuck. To the guy, not the girl. I would never call a woman a bitch, except for my wife. I call her a bitch all the time. But that doesn't count because if I say it out of love. Everyone but me. So annoying. That's his mom, by the way. That's his mom. My oh, mom okay. wants everyone here but me. What the heck? My mom never wants me. Never. Can never turn my own mom on. What the heck? It's like that South Park episode where Mr. Garrison wanted his dad to molest him when he was a young kid, and he didn't. Oh, come on, mom. A blindfold, and you have to go up and touch all of the young men and figure out by touching their chests and abs and shoulders which one is their son. No. No. <laughs> uh, why is this a thing? Oh my god, this is incredible. Why would you do this? <laughs> no. Why? Come on. I'm ready. I just hope she doesn't go below the waist whenever she's groping these guys. <laughs> that that will be out of line. Yeah, mom, you better not be jacking me. Imagine you go to the ground. Oh, that's my son. That's my son's penis. That's my son's penis. That's probably the easiest way to know. That's my son's penis. You know what's interesting? Is my wife and I were talking the other day because we're gonna, we want to have kids soon, right? So we're trying for kids, and we were talking, and I have uh, my my wife made a joke because I have very large testicles, and she's like, "Oh, they're gonna be your kids. They're gonna have huge balls." And I was like, "If they don't, I'm gonna know you're cheating on me." That was like our little joke, and then I was like, hmm, "What if they do come out with smaller testicles?" You know, um, and so I had asked my mother at one point. I said, "How big were my balls when I was born?" And she's like, "They're pretty big." Um, and she said it looked like a fly's eye, like the big like big eyes, but like a small little like burp, like a little circle, you know. Like you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like it looks like a like oh, this is like two big eyes, and then like just a little fly's mouth, like you know, like a little bit. So now I got to ask my mother-in-law if um how big the balls of uh, her family members are to see if my kid might come out with small testicles. Um, and as I'm saying it out loud, I realize this is probably inappropriate line of questioning. But <laughs> um Yeah. We're gonna move on. Me off. <laughs> you better not be jacking me off when you're jacking all the other guys off. Make sure you don't jack me off. 
Mom, <laughs> these are my friends, okay? Jocking them off. Yo, these incest jokes are going crazy. <laughs> Yo, TLC got the craziest incest jokes. You gotta check this shit out, man. I mean, I honestly learned a lot from like all of that talking. I mean, you did? Everything I that's come out of his mouth has been just- I'm just wrong, I'm just wrong. And I'm just like- You're welcome, just, this is your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Look at the face right here. I'm, I, I feel. I honestly feel bad for laughing at this. This is trauma happening in real time, yeah, right here. Kinda, this face, yeah. right here. That's trauma. We're watching it happen. Nice work, TLC. Nice work. There's things that I don't have to share. That's true. But you know, honestly, that's what I do here. I overshare, and we have fun. So. He will never recover from that ever. Nice He's work. Fun, you know, on TikTok, the joke. Moments of the thing that changed my brain chemistry, and it's like. A picture of their fucking lunch or whatever. This actually did alter that kid's brain chemistry right there. His Probably. own mom just put her arm around a guy the same age as him and said, this is your dad. I can't Damn. believe this is real. I just can't believe this is real. Where are you? You said, come up here, mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> Can you take mom. a break? 10 to a 2. Relapse. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom. I'm going to take my reins up. The good thing that you just let your mom know you're going to the bathroom. You have to always announce to mommy, I'm going to the bathroom. It Okay, son. Joey continues to cock block me this entire time. Damn. He's going to ruin the experience for me. I mean, I mean, I just don't. Okay, I just feel like, how could you be horny when you're that close to your son? I don't get it. Okay, the life should ruin your experience for you. Okay, not your, not your son. Like, like the circumstances, okay? All right. Okay. Listen, here's the thing. You guys get upset with me for oversharing sometimes, but the reality is a lot of you guys identify with my oversharing. You're just too fucking afraid to admit it, okay? Shut the hell up. I don't even, I don't even have jokes. I'm literally speechless. It's the first night of this show. And he's like, mom, come on. Like, it's, it's, it's night number one. Like, can you, not, can you not bring this dude into the room that I'm also sleeping in on the first night? please yeah and she's like yo if you're gonna <laughs> cock block me then you're more of a pussy than i thought you were like jesus fuck. true <laughs> oh my god you gotta be joking just chilling bye joey don't be a hater joey come on you gotta chill out come i feel like this is the reason why joey like speaks in phrases like that because it's like it's just like his defense mechanism you know for dealing with this shit. It's like his mother trying to kick him out of his own room on, on the first night. And he's just like, oh, Bro. mom, you gotta be joking me. <laughs> you gotta be joking. Mom, you gotta be joking me. <laughs> he probably, mom probably does that to him consistently. So he's like used to it, you know? You gotta be, you gotta be joking, mom. Are you joking? You really gonna fuck this guy that's, that's, that's my friend? Oh, you gotta be joking. <laughs> Can, please, please, are you joking? Please, mom, please. Mom, can I watch? <laughs> Just kidding, mom. Don't really want to, unless. You're joking, mom. You're joking. There's that catchphrase again. I don't want to sleep on the balcony again, mom. I'm cock blocking my mom because first night, no. You've known him for six hours. True. You can't just immediately go into, you know, I want to. And then, yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Joey. Maybe if it was seven hours, I'd be okay with it. But six? No, never. Never mind my, my house. Poor Joey. You're joking. Joey's fucking hater, you know? Cock blocking hater. That's what he is. Oh, yeah, I have a son, but he's a cock blocking hater. <laughs> I'm a very big hater. Person. Paula has these feet that I just want to like oil up and lather and just massage and get real warm. And then. Come on, bro. Stop. Paint her toenails maybe a color and like suck the acrylic off some toes. And... This level is called the bone zone on my, on my screen. So we're going to play the bone zone. Shove them my mouth. Yeah. Wow. When, when did feet people get so outspoken? When did that happen? They are shameless about their fetish. It's crazy. And I love yep. it about her. Hi. She has the idea, let's do yoga, and wants to do the airplane, and I'm, I'm so for it. <laughs> let's do airplane yoga. Well, that's the show, and I'm just so happy that Disco Mommy didn't tell one of the other moms that she was going to fuck their son. I get the fantasy suite tonight. You don't uh you can't relate to a foot fetish i mean not i mean it's all right like not really like i don't have like a fetish for it it's more of like um i like sensual touching so i'll touch my wife however you know whatever and when anyone that makes us closer it doesn't matter what part of the body it is you know what i mean so like i'll suck our, our toes a little bit but it's not because i like sucking on her toes it's because it's just a sensual movement and it's also kind of dirty, you know what I mean? And so when I'm doing when I'm doing stuff with my wife, I want like her to know that like I'll do whatever nasty shit to her because like 
That's how much she turns me on. I'll do any nasty, disgusting thing with her. And it's not because I'm into that thing. It's because I'm into her. Okay? That's how my wife knows that I love her. Okay? And it's the truth. And you could be as upset. You could cry about that if you want. But that's how you make a woman feel special. I don't know what to tell you. Okay? Don't. You actually don't. Ah, charming. This is a little bit too much for me, I think. Honestly, I've watched a hundred of these shows now, and this one actually made my jaw legitimately drop multiple times. That was episode one. I need some eye bleach. I'm gonna go watch about a hundred yes. hours of oh, Dr. Young. Pimple Popper now, or maybe one of the Amish dating shows. Oh, and hit the like if your mom's hot, okay? <laughs> nice. It's a cool video. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face. But just as a friend, there's nothing weird about that. I want him to pee on my face. 